Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Air dominance has never been better with the advent of the F-22 Raptor. Since its introduction into service, the fighter has continuously stretched the boundaries of air dominance as the most lethal multi-role fighter. The F-22 first flew in 1997, and the manufacturer, Lockheed Martin, had manufactured a total of 195 fighters when its production ended in 2011. Even though more technologically advanced fighters like the F-35 have made their appearance, the F-22 still remains the perfect blend of maneuverability, stealth, speed, and lethal strike capability. The fighter's aggressive and brash look portrays its formidable power. While the fighter is packed with a plethora of impressive features, several key elements make the Raptor the epitome of all fighters. Two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines deliver a combined thrust of 70,000 pounds. The 2D thrust vectoring nozzles can vector thrust 20 degrees either up or down. Thanks to its advanced engines, the Raptor is capable of supercruising, which enhances its operating envelope. The fighter inherits an impressive ferry range exceeding 1,850 miles when carrying two external wing tanks. Observability, made possible by the stealth design and radar absorbent coating, inherits the ability to penetrate through enemy airspace and launch surprise attacks. The Raptor's higher operating ceiling of 50,000 feet enables it to soar above typical air traffic, while evading threats from ground-based air defense systems. The convergent divergent thrust vectoring nozzles make the fighter super agile. Thrust vectoring is integrated with flight controls and controlled by the Full Authority Digital Electronic Control, or FADEC, without a single pilot intervention. Thus, they come in handy whenever flight controls become ineffective during high angle of attack operations to preserve maneuverability. With all these advanced systems, the fighter should be thoroughly inspected prior to each flight to ensure its airworthiness and mission capability. Usually, Crew chiefs are responsible for conducting both pre-flight and post-flight inspections to identify any mishaps on the fighter. Pre-flight inspection primarily consists of inspections and functional tests to verify that all systems are operating correctly. During the pre-flight inspections, the engines and related systems are considered imperative. The air intakes and exhausts of the engines are checked for FOD ingestion and other anomalies. These engines are the cornerstone of the Raptor's performance. The higher thrust to weight ratio allows the fighter to perform vertical climbs while accelerating.
This makes the fighter super maneuverable. In addition, with the higher thrust to weight ratio, the Raptor's wings experience a lower wing loading, allowing the fighter to perform tight turns that could be advantageous in close quarter dogfights. Furthermore, the fighter has the capability to perform some advanced maneuvers, such as Super Cobra, Offensive Spiral, and Herbst and J-Turn. In some maneuvers, the airspeed drops below 100 knots, and yet the jet remains fully controllable thanks to advanced flight controls and thrust vectoring. When pushing further, the Raptor can maintain its controllability even during a stall with the implemented post-stall technologies. Raptor pilots are subjected to higher G-loads during operations, which could be as high as 9 Gs. Higher G-forces can cause G-induced loss or consciousness, or Glock, which may result in fatal consequences. Thus, pilots wear G-suits to help them tackle Glock by eliminating blood pooling on the legs during positive G maneuvers. Furthermore, Pilots also execute anti-G straining maneuvers and practice rapid breathing techniques to prevent Glock. Sustained. The fighter features impressive stealth characteristics, including angled surfaces without discontinuities, sawtooth edges at the door cutouts, radar absorbent stealth coating, and a metallic coating. Applying the stealth coating is a task of its own. Thus, robots are used for this arduous task as they perform the paint job with uniform thickness and precision. Aerobotics, an aerospace and defense robotics company, developed improvised robots that use carbon fiber tubes. They can paint all the confined areas with ease, unlike the human workers who struggle to reach such tight spaces. When it comes to the armaments of the F-22, it could carry a diverse range of missiles and bombs depending on the mission. Unlike the F-15 and F-16 fighters, the weapons are not carried in external pots, as these would severely compromise the stealth of the aircraft. The Raptor can hold two AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles in its internal side weapon base. These are heat-seeking air-to-air missiles that travel at supersonic speeds. Loading the missile is a three-man job, as it weighs 190 pounds and is just under 10 feet in length. Depending on the nature of the mission, the main internal weapon bay can accommodate weapons in two settings. One setting carries six AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air, -air, or AMRAM missiles. This missile is radar guided and is used for targets beyond visual range. When loaded for air to ground strike missions, the main internal weapon bay is loaded with two 1,000 pound GBU 32 JDAM bombs and two AIM 120 missiles with an air to ground loadout. 
Both AIM-120 and GBU-32 JDAM bombs are loaded with the help of a bomb loader due to their larger size. Besides the missiles and bombs, the Raptor has a six-barrel M61 A2 20mm Gatling gun hidden inside the root of the right wing. The gun has an ammunition capacity of 480 rounds and a linkless feed system. These advanced missiles offer exceptional precision thanks to their state-of-the-art targeting systems. Missiles like the AIM-9 Sidewinder incorporate a much less expensive infrared guidance system, while the AIM-120 is equipped with an active radar along with an inertial navigation system. The pilot can fire and execute an evasive maneuver as these missiles are less dependent on the fighter's fire control system. While the F-22 has a decent fuel capacity of 18,000 pounds, there may be instances where the fighter has to be refueled in mid-air to keep the fighter engaged in a mission. Thus, air-to-air -air refueling plays a crucial role. The flying boom from the tanker connects with the fuel receptor during the fuel transfer. The F-22 pilot should maintain the required clearance from the tanker till the transfer is complete. The boom can transfer fuel at a whopping rate of up to 6,000 pounds per minute. While in-flight refueling seems the ideal solution for keeping the fighters airborne, there may be circumstances in which aerial refueling is not available. In such situations, fighters may have to land on austere runways and receive fuel under minimum facilities. The star cart is one such alternative refueling means for providing fuel for the fighters during emergency situations. This self-contained refueling cart can receive fuel from flexible and rigid fuel tanks or from a separate fuel truck. With all these advanced features, maintaining this intricate machine is definitely exacting. Maintenance in the F-22 is more extensive than in other fighters due to the specialized radar absorbing coating. It has been noted that nearly 50% of the maintenance done to the Raptor is attributed to repairing the stealth coating. Thus, the stealthy characteristics of the Raptor bring a fair amount of challenges for the maintainers. In addition, keeping the Raptor clean is extremely crucial, as is maintaining the stealth coating. The fighter visits the wash rack every 30 days to remove all dirt and grime from the landing gears, doors, and fuselage. For a stealth fighter like the F-22, the cleaner the jet, the safer the pilots. Similar to all other maintenance, maintaining the weapon systems in a combat-ready state is of utmost imperative. Out of them, maintaining the Gatling gun poses some unique challenges. The gun should be removed from the fighter for scheduled maintenance and should undergo detailed inspections in a workshop. Unarguably, the F-22 is the most lauded fighter ever built, and its impeccable features justify this accolade. Despite all this, the U.S. Department of Defense has made a decision to end production of the Raptor, and the last manufactured jet was accepted by the Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson facility on May 5, 
2012. This was the grand finale of a $74 billion project that redefined air superiority in all terms. With all its upgrades, the F-22 will continue to soar through the skies as the most advanced air superiority fighter well into the 2030s and as the pathfinder for the next generation air dominance fighter. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.